implicitly defined functions. Now that's that's quite a mouthful. Uh, what does that even mean? You know, basically, here's what it means. Okay. You got two different variables that have to work together to make up. Like you have to use y now. Okay. Because normally we just solve for y and then right. pretty much pretend like the y is not right. there. We yeah. Solve we for just it yeah. And, grab and then it. we just like we pick some x's, but but now. That y matters. Y is critical to the successful navigation of this problem. All right. So, and it says here, uh, the relation x squared minus y squared equals 16 is mm -hmm. not a function. Think it's about not, it. It's not. This is not a function. It's and, not. And here's the easiest part to tell that from. Uh -huh. The y is being squared. Yes. Anytime and, y squared, mm -hmm. it's not a function. If it's just y in there all by itself, doesn't matter where it is, we can... I'm waving my pencil. In yeah, front of I was the about to say somebody's going to be like you're poking their eye out. You just get rid of that. Board. However, if we solve this equation for y, we can write two equations. That's that correct. Are That's functions. correct. That's correct. And when we do this, we say that the two functions are defined implicitly by the given relation. Right. Now this is, in other words, this is how you would need to graph it on your calculator. Right. So if I solve for y squared, I've got to subtract x squared over. That's my first step. I would uh, multiply both sides by a negative 1. Mm -hmm. So that gives me positive x squared minus 16. Or I could have left it the other you way could around. Have, you could have if you wanted and to. I, then I would square root both sides. But if you square root in an equation, you personally, if, if you. you square root in an equation, you have to put a plus or minus sign, which is why this is not a function because as soon as you go to put this in the calculator, you got to put it in two different spots, which is why we can label kind of two different. Y1, Y2. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can label two different things here. One of them is the positive square root. One of them is the negative. Think square about root. the quadratic formula, which you all are familiar with. The x opposite equals of b. negative b plus or minus. Plus, square what, root. what was that? What was that? Uh, plus or minus. What, what was that? Plus or minus. What was that? Plus or minus. That's where it comes from. It's Say this what? sort of situation. Plus or minus. Say what? Hey, I think I got a beat mixer okay. on here that I downloaded. Maybe well, we let's can... not worry about it right okay. now. Okay. Okay. But see, these are two functions that define that relation. And... Right. And you can graph both of those, and together they make your your one conic section. Yes. Which uh, this is. I thought about putting a circle on here, but this is not a circle. You but know what this is? Uh, it's a hyperbola. 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 It's a, hyper, it's a hyperbola. You said that four times. I Why? did. How about if uh, we make our code word? Code word could be. What do you mean? Um, how, about, uh, how about hyperbola? How about cool. hyperbola? Hyperbola. Spelling counts. Wow, we. Oh, man. Thanks for joining.